Welcome guys to episode one of a super flat world. So I got this idea from Mog Swamp. I'm about like 10 years too late, but that's okay. You know, gotta start sometime. And 10 years ago, I was in second grade. So obviously <laughs> I didn't have a computer. Oh well. I, I'm kind of frustrated right now. I spent like an hour and a half trying to get usable audio. Like it's still not great, but it's usable now. Cause I had played an hour on a previous world and then I looked at the recording and my voice was just atrocious to listen to. So that should be fixed here. That aside, I'm super excited to be playing super flat. Normal survival just never really grasped me. Like, it was fine, but I'd get bored after getting diamond armor. Like, in the phase where I have to get max enchantments, I it, it just wasn't fun. But something about super flat is different. So I'm hoping this will like this is the start of something. For sure, this is the start of something. And I can't wait to see how it goes. I got this, the reason I've been having so many audio troubles is I got a mic for Christmas, the Blue Yeti, and it's nice, I just don't know how to use it yet. So there's definitely a learning curve, and I have not learned it yet, so that's fun. The goal for this episode is to get blaze rods, because on super flat, Strongholds generate at the same coordinates, no matter the seed. Which means... I can have a nether portal from the lava at the stronghold very easily, because of course there are also wells at the stronghold. So, really you just need iron. And to get iron, you can go around to different villages and kill golems. And you could also get lucky in blacksmith chests. Ooh, a diamond. Okay. Nice. This is actually a really good chest. The thing with diamonds, though, is you don't really want to use them to make tools or armor, because you can get those from end cities, but you can't get diamond blocks or jukeboxes or... What's the last? I, I don't even remember, but you can't... Oh, enchantment table. You can't get those. So, it's better to use your diamonds on those than it is to make tools or armor. Alright, this is a good start. This is definitely a good start. I need some food. But aside from that, we're actually making great progress. Oh, lovely. Slimes are definitely going to be a problem for a while, but once I get a base set up, they won't be anymore. I think I'm going to build near the stronghold. I'm not sure though. We will see. Oh, definitely need a bed. Don't want to waste away in the middle of the night. Because lots of mobs spawn, and they all have direct line of sight to you, which is not fun. Oh, this is good. Saplings are also huge, because without them, it's very hard to get wood. Really? What is the point? Run, 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 run. Yeah, so, 
slimes aren't great. I'm gonna do my best not to change difficulties. Right now I'm in normal. I might change to hard later. But I, I feel like changing to peaceful, at least for me, kinda kills the vibe. Wait, is slime blocks 9 slime? No shot. It is? How did I not know that? I don't know. That said, I'm gonna get rid of these pickaxes. I don't think I'll need them. Yeah, alright. Time to find some more iron. Once I get enough iron to take on the nether, I'm gonna go to the stronghold at 2052-884. I found a chart online that told me where the strongholds are, and that's one of them in ring one, and it's the only one I remember, so it's the one we're going to. This is a big village. Right, nothing in these houses. But that is okay. Anything here? No. I'm gonna get these cows and hay. What? How did I fail a crit? I'm sorry. I'm gonna kill the golem. For sure. Come on. Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. We're fine though. We're fine. bit more iron and almost died because we're dumb. <laughs> it's fine. Any chest? Nice. I definitely need food. Good. Alright, I'm going to probably survive off of bread and apples for the time being. I need... Let's see, I need two more iron, I think. I'm gonna get some more wood as well. Right, on to the next village. All right, <laughs> village spotted. Took a while, but we made it. Ooh, ruined portal. That's nice. Alright, now that we're here, I'm gonna get this cow and sleep because the sun is setting on our first day of many. I'm gonna steal these potatoes and bread as well. Not the book, we can get more books later. Okay. Beautiful. Whoops. There's another village that way as well. Oh, it's a baby villager. Alright, I'm gonna get this guy's iron. Oh my god, that's scary. There we go. That should be enough iron. If there's not a blacksmith here, I'm gonna make some armor and head to the stronghold. Or I guess if there's not a blacksmith there either. Yeah, alright. Got some iron, some obsidian. Okay, this is nice. I'm not gonna use obsidian blocks I get to make the portal because you can just use water and lava for that and you need them for enchantment tables and 
ender chests. I'm not sure what else, honestly. I haven't really played much single player survival. Never been huge on that. Oh my god. It scares me every time. There we go. Onward to the stronghold. It is about 800 blocks this way. There's another village too. Oh my god. Sheep. Oh, I need a shield. Yeah, I have enough iron. Okay, we're good. We're good. You can live. That is a pillager outpost. I think? Oh. <laughs> There's the stronghold. That is so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, there is a well. That is good. I'm gonna have to make a shovel so I can get enough dirt to get up there. Right, so I think I might set my spawn point in the portal room. So that if I die in the nether, I can just immediately hop back in. Oh, I should still get... Yeah, I need dirt. I need dirt. Because I don't want to use all my wood just to build... Beautiful. All right. So, I think I'm just gonna mine dirt until my shovel breaks. All right. My shovel broke. Time to see what the stronghold has to offer. Also, unrelated to Minecraft, my life has been pretty stressful recently. Because I have to have, like, I've had pretty good grades throughout high school, and now it's like, I really have to maintain them. Or, I'm gonna have, because like, applying to colleges, that's not apple. Where are my apples? Do I not have apples? Yeah, applying to college is stressful, and you gotta keep your grades up. You gotta, yeah, it's just a lot. It's a lot. I, I'm just gonna leave that there. Yeah. I've, so far I've heard back from two colleges. I got into one honors college and the other one, was, they deferred me. Uh, which, from what I've read up about online, a deferral is probably about a 10% chance of acceptance which is actually better than the 5% base acceptance rate or I think it was actually 7% regardless it's slightly better but I, I don't think I'm getting in <laughs> I just I don't see it happening it's I, I really want to know where I end up future me Tell me, because my life right now is very uncertain, which is partly why I am playing super flat now, because it's very peaceful, even in kind of stressful situations, it's, it's just more laid back than regular. I don't know why, that's just how it feels for me. Also, that's the portal room over there. I want to check out what enchanted books the library has to offer. And yeah, hopefully they're good. Don't want to fall. Oh, I haven't set my spawn point. Uh-oh. We'll do that in a second. I don't really need either of those. <laughs> I think I might sleep in the library, which sounds awesome in real life as well. Impaling and power. Those are decent. When I get a bow, that'll be nice. But for right now, not super necessary. 
I could get a bow right now, actually, but I can't get arrows. Fire aspect. Nice. Right, I'm gonna sleep maybe on this platform so I don't fall off. Yeah. And it is daytime. Well, I'm... yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go into the nether now. What is nice about super flat nether and end is that they're just completely normal. Which, I, I mean, for the nether, I'm kind of bad at navigating the nether, so it's not great. But it is kind of nice, because it means we're not limited in those dimensions. I'm gonna set my spawn for... I'm gonna set it there for right now, because if I do fall, I don't want to lose all my I guess I would lose all my stuff. No, no, because there's water down. That's risky. Uh... Okay. This- oh, that's- that's pretty good. Oh man, I think since we already found a fire aspect book, efficiency is probably better. This map could be cool to make. Just default terrain. Come back and look at it later. When I've got a nice built up world. Prot 3, that's pretty... <laughs> that's not bad. I think aside from going to the nether and getting blaze rods. Obviously we need to get ender pearls as well. And I would like to build an enderman farm as soon as I can. Yeah. Cause XP and ender pearls are gonna be so valuable. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, okay, we made it, we made it. I'm gonna break the spawner, so we can always go to another stronghold, but we can't all- like, they're gonna knock me off, let's be real. Are there any more? I don't see any more. Okay, I'm gonna set my spawn over here, and I'm gonna store most of my stuff. Why did I do it that way? I don't know. Oh, I didn't make a furnace. Oh well. Anything I don't immediately need is gonna go in here. I think I might need the gold for the nether. That might be smart. I'm gonna make bread as well. There we go. I don't need apples anymore. Need that to light the portal. And yeah. Cool. I don't need leather either. It's time to build the portal. I'm gonna build it on this side. Speedrun strats, except I'm slow. All right. We are good to go. I don't think a water bucket is gonna be particularly helpful, so I might just leave that here. And I'm gonna make gold boots, so piglins don't attack me. Yeah, all right. Into the nether. And we've made it. I don't immediately see any structure, which is not good, because I don't know how to find them. Oh goodness, <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, Hoglin, run! Yeah, this is not ideal. Could be worse, I guess. We could be in a ravine. That said, if that ravine was near a fortress, I would say it's probably a better spawn. <gasps> oh my god, fortress! Oh my god, okay, okay. This is huge. 
I'm gonna mark where I came from with a little dirt pillar. That blaze is eyeing me. And now that's on fire forever. Okay, this is really good. Okay, okay. Oh, is that a warped forest? Oh my god. Okay, so we have everything we could want, really. Why is there a hole there? Oh my god. Like, how do I get down? <laughs> I... I don't know. Don't... Oh, that was close. I think... Maybe... Going this way? Is... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I'd love to just find a blaze spawner. I think I'm going the wrong way for that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, this is huge. I'm... Speedrunners clear this area out to get more blaze spawns. But they would kill me. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> I might clear out the glowstone though. Okay. So far so good. Got one blaze rod. I think I want like... Seven or eight? I don't... No, but I only need... What? Six? Five? No, I need six. Because I know where the stronghold is. But, yeah, I want extra so I can brew fire resistance. Because lava is so scary in the nether. It's like, bam, you're dead. You mine a hole? Doesn't matter. Oh, I thought it was gone forever. I think I should probably cover these holes so that doesn't happen again. Oh, oh my god. Alright, another rod. I'm gonna leave when we get 10 rods, I've decided. I will see you then. Oh my god, that's a lot of blazes. Oh, frickety frack, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead? Hello? That is, oh my god, that is scary. And now there's a lot of blazes. What? Excuse me? Oh my god. <laughs> I am the luckiest person alive. What? Run, 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 run. You know, on second thought, I might leave with nine blaze rods. How- why are there so many? That's not normal. I guess it is normal. Oh, what? There's a blaze rod! And I can't even get it, because I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I really need fire resistance or a bow or something. That is too much. There's another one? Oh god. Run. Leave. Leave. Okay. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I am leaving. So it is time to head back to the overworld because <laughs> god that was scary. And there's a ghast. Last time I tried to fight a ghast it killed me so I don't think I'm gonna try and fight it. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh my god. We made it. We made it. I can safely say that was scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a boat to trap an enderman in. And then I'm gonna s just farm some ender pearls. We'll see you in the warped forest, I guess. That is an enderman. I need an enderman. That's an enderman too. Yo, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Nice. Oh, beautiful. That is just what I needed. So I need 11 of those, I think. I actually don't remember if the, eye, if the portal was a one eye or not. So I'm gonna get 12. Terribly sorry. Well, no ender pearl from that one. Where's my boat? 
Come on, come on. Nice. Nice. I don't want to hurt you, but I need to. Nothing. Maybe if I set my render distance lower, I'll get more. Oh, that's atmospheric. Oh my god. Get in, get in, get in the boat. Oh, thank you, both of you. That's so kind. That is terrifying. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That is what we like to see. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello, friend. You're gonna help me. You did not help me. Get in the boat. Thank you. Really? I thought about starting a snowy super flat, but then I remembered I barely know how to survive a regular one, which has been well documented. And I was like, well, mm, I don't really want to live in a barren snowy wasteland forever where my water freezes. So how about no? What? That's not okay. This is- I did not sign up for this. Shoot me, I dare you. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you because I do not want to deal with that. They dropped a blaze rod too. <gasps> there's two. There's two. Oh my god, there's two. Okay, one of them got in the boat. I don't know if I can stand close to them or not. My sword is gonna break soon. <laughs> I have an axe, which I guess I could use. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Maybe if I change the entity distance? Or simulation? Yeah, let's go down to 5, I guess. That's the lowest it can go. Maybe this will help? Oh, my sword broke. Oh, we got a pearl. We got a pearl. Where did the other one go? It just saw me murder its brother and dipped. I don't blame it. But I do need to find it. Oh, what the heck? A missile from the void just shot me. Beautiful. Where are these coming from? That is horrifying. I am getting out of here. Why don't boats have durability? Like, if tools break, and you hit boats with your tools, does that just mean the boats are stupid strong? Like, why can't our wooden tools be that strong? If a boat never breaks, surely a pickaxe won't. Like, we are hitting this boat with sharp objects constantly, and it just never gets damaged. How bad are we at making tools? I don't understand. <gasps> Enderman. Beautiful. No pearl though. So, it seems like my axe is gonna break soon, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna make another stone axe. One. Come on, you can get in, you can get in, you can do it. Oh. <laughs> well, that works. No pearl. Oh, nice. Oh my god, first wither skeleton. Good luck getting me in here. Beautiful. Oh, wither skeletons drop coal. That's how I can get coal. I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, that is horrifying. Okay, two more, two more. 
Maybe since the simulation distance is 5 chunks, my render distance should also be 5 chunks. Because I cannot see those blazes for the life of me. They can see me. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Just chilling there. <gasps> Enderman. Enderman. Yes. Come on. Drop a pearl. All right. One more. Where are you going? Where are you going? I was just up there. Oh, yes. We can leave. We can leave. Oh, my God. We can leave. Whew. So, we now have the stuff to get to the end. But I feel like it might be smart to restock on iron. Because, yeah. I don't have a sword. My axe is broken. I need arrows as well. I think next order of business might just be getting arrows. We did it. Oh my god. Oh. It is so nice to be back. And just looking, we it is a one eye, so I could have left earlier. I do actually have another sword. And I obviously have my boots and water. But whoops, I don't feel ready yet to go fight the dragon. So I'm going to leave this slot open, and that is the end of episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching. It, it's a process. See you later.